Um, Scandalous. All right. Happy Juneteenth. Yay! Happy Juneteenth. 2021, the year of the new federal holiday. Yo, I have seen, and, I, and, and don't get me wrong, I, even on my social media, I've seen the memes of, you know, people stepping over like, okay, we, we didn't get, oh, what, 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 we, we lacking, hold up, oh, oh I see, I <laughs> it's see, all, we just put our headphones on, guys, my bad. All right, yeah, but happy Juneteenth, um, I did see a lot of the memes that were going out there saying like, oh, uh, we didn't get our reparations, we didn't get, you know, our, the criminal justice reform, we didn't get all these things, we're just settling for a holiday, and I was like, no, 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 no. We're not settling for the holiday. We are going to celebrate this holiday, though. You know what I mean? Because for a country to recognize a holiday like Juneteenth is significant. As a federal holiday, this is a, a true significant um, occasion, in, in my opinion. So It's not that significant to me. We I, already I had a black, the whole month. We already had Martin mm -hmm. Luther King Day. They don't have a problem giving us a day on the calendar. Right, I know they, they don't, but the, there's only 12 federal holidays, right? There's 12. And for one of them to be um, set in stone, like, yo, we're going to acknowledge the, the, the holiday that black people created, not that they created, black people created, of them actually celebrating their freedom. And this is a holiday that not just black people should celebrate, but everybody should celebrate because this is the day that but then white truly, folks lost their slaves. Oh, no, 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 no. Like that, no. <laughs> this is the day that everybody in America truly became free. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people don't understand the 4th of July is when American got its independence from British. They got the independence. The reason why they wanted independence from them is because they just didn't want to pay taxes anymore. Right. That's that's literally all of what they were tired of paying high taxes to this other country, so they wanted to be their own country. But meanwhile, that was 1776. We were still slaves. We They were over here celebrating like, oh, we're free, we're free, we're free. we do this. But we weren't. Right. It was it was really hypocrisy at its finest. You know what I mean? I believe, I, I, Lord forgive me, I'm not sure if it was Frederick, Frederick Douglass that was talking about the Independence Day. But yeah, it's just like, how can uh, a black person celebrate Independence Day? When they wasn't independent. When they weren't independent, you know what I mean? So... <laughs> 89 years later, um, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This was in 1863. And in 1863, you know, he wrote the Emancipation Proclamation saying, like, everybody is going to be free. But the reason why we, they um, coined it in 1865 is because these, these slave owners were treacherous people. They were... When they when they were losing the war, they were taking their slaves from the south and moving them more west. Texas was the last, the most furthest state to the west um, in the Confederacy. So a lot of those slave owners were moving their slaves in Texas or were moving to Texas. Trying to hold on to them. Trying to hold on to their slaves for as long as they possibly could. And then, you know, in 1865, on June 19th, the Union, you know, came in to Galveston, Texas and told the, the slaves there that they were free, freeing up 250,000 slaves in that one state that that's were being held there. a lot of people. And back then, 250,000 people? It's like, like that's brings crazy. chills. Oh, my God. It's like, yeah. Whew. Yeah. And um, for for this holiday to, to still hold weight to, to this day is pretty significant. The fact that people held on to this, to the celebration, even... When it was really, really hard, because people they like, oh yay, Juneteenth, we were free, everything's good. No, this is when a lot of the lynchings, the killings, really turned up. Like they were finding dead bodies everywhere. These white people, when they, it depend on the slave owners. Some slave owners just like fuck it, get out of here, you're free. Mm -hmm. Some actually killed their slaves. That's some crazy. lynched them. Some they were going out hunting black people. You know what I mean? So a lot of black people that the Great Migration happened, they, they felt like getting out of the South was the best way to save their families. That's where you had a lot of black people going to California, Chicago, New York, D.C. That's where you had those great, you know, the Great Migration and stuff like that. And they took the Juneteenth from Texas to all these other separate places that black people were. And then on top of that, in December is actually when the 13th Amendment was actually passed. And so that's when they really uh, ramped it up. So it, it, it was a process, a real big process to actually get freedom. 
What do you think prompted them to make it a federal holiday this year? Um, <laughs> I think it was a little bit of pandering. I think it was a lot of Biden promising black America a lot of things and not delivering on anything. So the least they could do is give us a day on the calendar. That's going to make mm-hmm. them some money. How do we both win from this situation? Yeah, um, you know, that's, that's, that is the sad part about this is that become... <laughs> This becoming a federal holiday is 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 great for the country to recognize this holiday, and they have no choice now but to recognize this is what happened. But at the same time, it's Every not federal anything. Federal holiday is a great time for the economy. Right. I Every mean, single yeah, one of them. Yeah, it's true, and we we are kind of lacking in with those holidays. Yeah, I mean, you got Fourth of July in the summer, but outside of Fourth of July, it's like. It's you know it's like a long period. You got May, it was Memorial, Memorial Day. Day yeah. June is uh Juneteenth. Yeah. July, what's happens in August? Is it Labor Day or uh, no? Labor Day is not until September, so we get a break in August. Okay, when's Veterans Day? February. Oh, right, and President's Day is in February. February eleventh. Yeah, and so okay. March. Then we got Easter in yeah. April. Is Easter federal holiday then? Is that a federal holiday? I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, Easter is. It's him. Okay. Well, yo, I'm just saying, like, we got Ju- they, Juneteenth beat St. Patrick's Day. Like, St. Patrick's Day ain't no federal holiday. Because that's not an American <laughs> goddamn holiday. <laughs> that is a novelty-ass holiday. Columbus Day? That is something else. Th- that's something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that got to get changed. That's a federal out. holiday. Is Columbus Day a federal holiday? Yeah, that got to change. Like, that got to change. That with like, Martin Luther King. Like, that's the mm-hmm. two holidays that they battle back and forth. They're federal holidays, but you know, it's not mandatory that you get off. A lot of companies go back and forth each year about whether or not, well, this year we'll give you Columbus, and the next year you get Martin Luther King. Right, yeah. And, that's and, really fucking fluke. Yeah, well, I, th- I think a lot of people, um, just to speak on this too, because it reminded me of something else that was going on in Georgia, where um, the, the governor of Georgia didn't give um, the state employees off for Juneteenth and a lot of people were, were confused and I was like okay well you have to understand this is a federal holiday the states still choose right. what holidays they want to celebrate and like, it was so last minute what the was. fuck was up they were with rushing. that they were definitely rushing who they were rushing does it. that yeah, um, no business can run like that yeah it's pretty it's, it is weird how they rushed this how they really wanted to get this out for this year but it was like um, a day or two before. Like, who does that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. She had to call off for work because she didn't have last minute child care. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm I'm happy that Juneteenth is a federal holiday. I'm happy about that. I'm yes, also I'm also <laughs> not going to. You got off, didn't you? No. You didn't get off? No. I, I'm well. Actually, I'm already off on Fridays. So. It didn't really affect me, uh, you know. The next year will be a Saturday. <laughs> right, yeah. But, um... No, I am glad that Juneteenth is a holiday, guys. Mm-hmm. Um, It's just... We need more. I need my reparations. Yeah, I need Yeah, that's check. all it is. That's, that's all it is. Like, look, like, thank you for the... Thank you for Juneteenth. That's great. We appreciate that. But, yo, run us our money. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, so, do you think Biden will run us a, um, a $1,800 uh, stimulus <laughs> Oh yeah, I said no. You mean eighteen? You mean uh, eighteen sixty-five to be exact? Uh, you mean one hundred eighty-six, one hundred and eighty-six thousand five hundred dollars per per black person? That that sounds more accurate to me. But oh my god, 40- oh that gives me chills too. I don't yeah. like the way this stuff is making me feel. Like yeah. I can just feel the hate. <laughs> right, right. Uh, niggas rich. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Niggas that didn't have yesterday. Yeah. Have today. Yeah. I'm yeah. scared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the man's not a Yo, white folks ima- imagine, like, that will, I don't know what that will do to the economy, but, like, if, if, if what black people. What is it going to do to the economy? If, if black people got all their reparations, oh, like, oh, shit. man. My mind I is, can't like, even. going through something right now. Just yeah. trying to wrap my mind around the idea. Yeah. Mm. We mm. want it, but do we even know what to do with it? I mean, I know That's what the, the fuck truth. I'm gonna do with mine, but I'm saying as I far as what, an economy, a black economy in general, I know what we needs know to be what done. the fuck. Yeah, I know what needs to be I done. I know what needs to be done. How the hell you tell another nigga that got money now <laughs> what the fuck to do with they, their money? As if they yeah. earned. Well, technically, we did. We did earn. Our but, ancestors earned it for I, us. Uh, and, and, and that that's the thing. Like a lot of. You think uh, these white folks is having these single conversations? They, they really are. A lot of them. 
who, who was the uh who was the guy um mitch mcconnell some one of these people out here said oh black people don't need reparations they got obama as president and they said that and that was it i'm like first of all Obama Thanks for the opportunity to be represented by a black man that we don't all identify with. Obama's father is Kenyan. Okay? Obama's father was Kenyan and had um had a baby with this uh with this <laughs> woman in Hawaii and now we have Obama. Obama's ancestry doesn't go through the slave trade is what I'm saying. Right. Michelle Obama does. So that that's significant. And I'm not saying that Obama doesn't care about black people at all cuz he does. But I'm just saying that is not and that's not reparations. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Obama First of all, worked you didn't just his give ass it to off. Him. Yeah, right. but I said you didn't just he, give it to him. He had to work his ass off. He had to be super nigga to become the president. They they had no scandals. His biggest scandal was him wearing a brown suit. <laughs> they were tripping about Obama wearing a brown suit. That was like and the his... cigarette from back in the day. Oh, come on now! Come I... on now! Come on, man! They had never surfaced that one time I smoked paper when right. I was a young lad. Right. I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and for them to come in, they came in at such a weird time too, where the internet and social media really took off, and like they had to deal with a lot of things more crucial than any other president. Like I, I go back to think Black about what teenage female daughters. Like... Yeah. Yeah, and and what they were saying about Michelle Obama, how she looked like a man, and how she was too, how, oh, why is she showing her sleeves off and stuff like that? I'm like, are you serious? Like, th but this is the things that they had to go through, that other presidents had to go through. Meanwhile, you had a whole Melania Trump who has naked pictures out here, and, you and know it what I mean? Never a thing, right? Yeah, that shit is is sickening. Yeah, yeah. Happy Juneteenth. Happy uh <laughs> Yes, but uh, still runners are paper. Reparations is still due. Criminal justice reform still needs to be passed. And uh, uh, yeah, all of that.